Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video it's going to be about my experience with breastfeeding. breastfeeding <laughs> it is so crazy well um, I'm still breastfeeding and my son is going to be about he's going to be six months already and I'm still breastfeeding it's a really uh, great experience but also for me for me it was both bad and good <laughs> Um, the reason why I decided to breastfeed is because I was breastfeeding when I was young. My sister was breastfeeding when she was young too. My husband also. And so we all believe in that because we believe in the health. We believe that breastfeed is, is, is a really good milk for your baby to be healthy. Here on my right, I'm going to show you... Um, the difference between the breast milk and the formula, the nutrients and the all the nutrients that each milk has. And you will see the difference. You will see the difference and why I decided to breastfeed my son. And also, um, we I never got sick. You know, if I got a flu then it will go away. It was it was going away like in two days you know so my sister and I were not um, we are not allergic to anything you know and we only allergic probably to dust but that's it but we're not allergic to anything and we're super healthy and my husband also you know so I was uh, I I drank milk from uh, from my mom's breast um until six months and my sister to eight months my husband um said that his mother gave him breast milk until three months i never took any classes people i never took any classes with the breastfeeding i decided to do it on my own oh the reason why i didn't took uh classes it was because i was too nauseous um, during my pregnancy that i didn't want to take any classes i was so tired of it you know i was always tired i was always feeling nauseous and i'm like oh no i cannot do this so i skip it but when the reality came that was so hard i couldn't do it i couldn't do it i remember i was in the hospital and it was so hard because i didn't know didn't know the techniques and so the nurses helped me over there the nurses helped me a little a little bit how to do it really quick um and but i still didn't master it um i remember my first month it was so hard because it was so painful um after the first so i was not giving breast milk every two hours or three you know i couldn't i couldn't so i bought a manual breast pump at walmart and so i bought that and and I, so I was giving breast milk and in that month, I was giving breast milk every five hours, you know, every five hours because I couldn't, it was, it was literally in pain. And so with that, and so with the breast pump, it was helping me. Now then, then I bought this little, I bought this little nipple shields, I'm going to show you. And those little nipple shields, it was helping me because it was um, ex uh, it was always uh, leaving my nipple open all the time. And then I will pour it to the bottle, and then I will give him the milk. Oh my god! And one of the um, the the bottles that did help me a lot was the Nano Baby. That was awesome. So my second month, I didn't master it well either. I was still struggling with the breast with the breastfeeding. I was still 
we see me in pain and 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 then in my second month that's when I received my breast pump my actual breast pump I needed to plug it so it was helping me because I was it was like in 30 minutes I will get the the milk from both from both breasts and I was not feeling tired anymore it was easy and and I could do it anywhere and you know so it was helping me so much I fill up a hundred bags of milk that I have frozen stored in my fridge I'm gonna show you a picture right now so on my third month I was still struggling but on my third month, I learned another position, which it was on my laying down. Both of us laying down, he he was getting the breast, um, the milk from the breast so easily. I learned that position, and after that, I always do it. I still do it until now. I'm in the sofa, I'm in my bed, and I do it. Um, so that did help me a lot. It helped me so much, but I was still receiving pain. I was still not mastered, but I never wanted to quit. I mean, I know I was always nagging about it, like, oh, I'm going to quit, I'm going to quit, I'm going to quit. But my mom and my husband was always there, like, saying, don't quit, don't quit. They will always put me the baby for I could breast, uh, breastfeed. And sometimes I would cry. I would be like, no, I don't want to do it now. I don't want to do it now. You know, but I, I needed to do it. Why? Because why? why? I needed to do it because the breast was getting full. And it would give me so much pain. Worse than... Than if I than than if I put him, it was that pain was worse than when he was than actually give him the breast. I don't know if you guys understood that. Yeah, the pain it when the breast f f gets full and you don't get the and you don't give it to the baby on time, it it will literally give you a worse pain. It will literally give you a worse pain. And so I needed to pull him or do the breast pump. And so on my fourth month, yes, that's when I mastered it. That's when I mastered it and I learned, hey, that technique, it does work. That technique, you definitely have to use those techniques. I started putting him on the, um, and that's when I actually, um, he actually opened his big mouth wide open and then I was doing it with no pain. Oh my. Well, he's five months already. And it's so much better right now. It, it, it gives me a little pain, but then it goes away. Um, and I still want to continue. I still want to continue until six or probably eight months. Probably. Probably. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, I do want to continue because this is something that this is something that it has to be done. I always put to my mind that this is something that needs to be done. Even though I didn't took the classes, but I needed to do it because my baby, he needs the proper nutrients. I praise the Lord that um that he gave me the strength. I cried, but he gave me the strength. My God was the one who helped me do this. You know, and I will pray and I will say, Lord, please give me the strength because I cannot do this alone. I want to do this for my baby, but I cannot do this alone. I did receive changes. Um, my breast, I never had this. I, I never had this so big like that. Never. I, my breast was like lemon size. <laughs> but now they're super big that I'm scared that it probably would not go away like it used to be but it's okay i don't you know now uh, my weight on uh, my weight i um i haven't lost the the weight that i wanted to that i've been that i that i put myself into um that i put myself my mind into it it's because i'm still breastfeeding so i'm not gonna lose it like that you know but i did lose uh, on my I did lose like 10 pounds already 
um, doing this because I've been doing the juicing and doing protein shake and doing all that and eating healthy also but still when when you breastfeed it gives you like like you want to eat and eat and that's and that happens to me I want to eat and eat and eat you know and I've been fighting with that fighting because I don't want to eat and eat a lot but I know that I need to eat essential foods with good source of vitamins and good source of um and good source of vitamins you know for the baby before he could grow you know for he could grow and be healthy also while I'm breastfeeding and then also I never bought extra clothes I always wear tops and bottoms if like occasionally occasionally I bought I use dresses and so those dresses needed to be uh, needed to have the access for me to breastfeed my son so the only thing I did buy was this little cloth that it, it gives me privacy uh, on public areas so whenever I go to public uh, I mean I go to the public or I go to my church you know I will put that on and breastfeed my son and and right away and nobody will see you know it gets me a certain privacy you know so that's good I mean I did receive one late um there was a lady in the mall that she got offended because I used that because she said oh no in my times I did expose my breast and I breastfeed it well and you know and that's not fair that you guys are having that right now and I'm like, I was looking at her and I was like, oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I don't understand people in me. <laughs> Some people will get offended if I use that. And, you know, and if I expose my presence, some people will get offended also, you know. So I'm like, who should I please? But I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to use it because this needs to be done. <laughs> I mean, come on. But anyways, I did use it. Um, and if you notice, for those who know me, if you notice that my son never cried at church, what's it because of that? You know, I use, I cover myself up, I gave the breast, the breast milk, well, and then he went back to sleep, and he never cried at church, and I, and I listened to the pastor. So I was awesome, I was so happy about that, you know, about that invention. <laughs> thank you so much. Whoever invented that, whoever invented that, thank you. Thank you so much. I love it, and I will give, and I give good feedback about that. Okay, so that happened, you know, and so, yeah, I never bought any clothes. So I, I thank God for that, you know. So my experience with this, I mean, it's, like I said, it's hard. It's hard, but I do give, I do, but I'm a pro, 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 pro um breast milk uh breastfeeding milk breastfeed breastfeed um so i do encourage every woman to do this i did it it was hard but you could do it i know some other women that i encountered with um they told me that they couldn't make it and they did and they did receive classes and they couldn't make it that's crazy you know <laughs> But I and I didn't, you know. But I and even though I didn't, I know that I needed to. This needed to be done because it needed to be done because my son. I was always thinking about him. I praise God that during this coronavirus, you know, going on, I never had to go to the hospital to for anything, for anything, you know. And I never got to expose my son into this um, situation. So I, you know, he's perfect. He's healthy. He's he doesn't have any. He doesn't have nothing, you know. And so we never had to go to the hospital for anything, you know. And I praise God for that, you know, because I decided to do it, and I decided. And my parents, my 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 
my sister, my husband, you know, my husband first because he's always there with me. My husband, they encouraged me to do the breastfeeding, even though I didn't want to sometimes, you know, <laughs> I, I do have to mention that even though I didn't want to do it sometimes, you know, but they did encourage me and they always tell me and they always told me you have to do it you have to do it you have to do it it was also up to me but since i told them i want to do the i want to do this until he's six until he's six months they always tells me then you gotta do it you gotta do it you gotta do it you know i respect the people that did gave that i did offer that they offer um the formula you know i respect it um a when you give formula to your baby your baby gets um a, a, he gets bigger and then those that that do receive breast milk they they get bigger faster and that's why you see a lot of um baby that they're so big and tough you know that's because they receive um some of them some of the majority they receive the breast milk i mean they receive the formula and so they look bigger and stronger because the formula has all that but the breast milk it's more it has more vitamins it has more it's more essential it has more it is better for the baby growth it's so much better and so I'm gonna leave that chart. Um, I'm gonna put it right now again for you guys can see the differences. You guys can see. Um, and I also I and I also encourage you to do it. You know, take the classes, take the proper classes, practice with the doll. You know, practice that because this is this is awesome. If you're watching this video, you it's because you probably don't know what to do you know and you want to know what's the what is the experience what you're gonna encounter yes you're gonna receive larger breasts yes you're gonna receive um you're gonna feel discomfort yes you're gonna feel pain yes you you have to take the measure you it's your decision but i hope you make the right decision for your baby if you want to bring a baby to this world, you gotta you gotta think about him now. I mean, yes, um, as a mother, you know, we all want to look good, you know, we all want to look, you know, like a model and stuff like that. But this is the time, those six months or whatever time you want to breastfeed, this is a time that you need to think about him because, you know, it's 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 better, you know, it's better because you you don't want to put to yourself in a situation where you want to be like i you know i am going to have to go to i'm going to have to if you if you're leaving your baby to someone to take care of right now you don't want to be having a call at your work and say ah oh, you know you got to take your baby to the hospital being exposed exposing your baby to to other people that are sick Think about that. Think about it, you know. But definitely, if you need help, call your doctor. Call someone that they could help you. I know there's nurses that they could go to your house and teach you. I, unfortunately, I never call one, you know. But, um, because I said, I, I put to my mind, I could do it, I could do this by myself. I could do this. It, it took me a while to learn but i did it myself i did it i did it by myself and i learned it and now i am a master of it and it, and i said if i'm having another baby this has to be done again this has to be done again i mean you know i mean one one other thing that another thing that a lot of you probably don't know is that when you're breastfeeding you will not see blood like menstruation at all you will not see menstruation at all and this is something that i had to learn by myself because i i um i never heard about that i never heard about this situation and it does and people don't mention it but yes you don't see blood 
and sometimes and when if you want to have another baby right away you can't you have to finish the press you have to finish the press feedings and then that's when you're gonna probably and then after that um you're gonna receive your menstrual cycle i haven't seen it so that's something that you need to add in your notes you're not gonna see it also you probably would not feel um you probably would not feel um uh, sexually uh sexual needs you probably will not feel that either you know um because um i think it's because um you're doing that this process you're nursing you know and you're thinking about you thinking about feeding and other than sex so that's something else that um, you're gonna encounter with that and that's a problem too for some couples you know that they don't talk about things and then when they encounter with this you know the man feels like oh you're being left out put that in your notes also you're not gonna feel the need I mean in my part I, I mean I'm gonna talk about my experience right now you know this is real talk real talk guys <laughs> so i love it you know i i and now i love it because i learned it and it's so much easy now you know it took me a while probably if i would have took the class it would have been i wouldn't master it since the beginning but oh did i bought the cream the, i'm gonna show you a picture no i never bought it i never put anything on my nipples one thing i did use was those um nipples pad those pad in order for your clothes not to get stained or in public in public areas i did use those um nipple pads and those nipple pads um are rewashable you know i did buy those i bought only 20 of them in the pack and I wash every week the baby's clothes and I put those in there and every week I use every day I use those you know every day I use those and and think I never bought those at uh, the the one that disposable because I, I would have wasted a lot of money on those you know so I did use those I guess I cover all that uh, over I, I cover everything about the breastfeeding and and that's it I guess so I hope you guys love this video please please subscribe to my channel and share it to someone that is probably needs this information okay guys so thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video ciao